It's our favorite thing in the world, pork. Let's just look at pork number one. Pork number one. This is a Boston butt. We could roast this by itself. A lot of people do, and they're fine. Or we could rub it. I love rubbing pork. Dry rub, and that's really the purpose of this video is to talk about spices. Right. So let's talk about what's in the dry rub. It's kind of a Mediterranean spice blend, right? It is. We started with a little bit of pickled marsala. Right. Which is a curry. It's a curry. No good dry rub is complete without some sugar in it. You got to have a little bit of sugar. Pork number three. Now that is a fine piece of meat. It's a beautiful specimen, low and slow. So what do we do low and slow for? Well, we want those connective tissues to ease up. They want to give up and start to become tender. And you need, you can only get that by cooking very slow. All right, well, let's rub this. Very simple process. We got our rub. Joe's all gloved up. So uh, let's just sprinkle some on. And you're literally rubbing it in. You don't want to overdo it. Spices, if you overdo it, will become bitter on you. You don't want that. On this guy over here, we've added some uh, garlic and onions and let it marinate, and that's good to go. So this is gonna go in the oven, 300 degrees for about uh, four to five hours. You wanna get an internal temperature of about 160 to 165, but you can't start eating it yet. You gotta let it rest a good solid 30 minutes so we can keep all those juices in that meat so we have a nice, juicy, uh, flavorful piece of meat. But well, we're gonna need a sauce. Well, that gives us time to make something. I like something cool with curry. And I see you've got some yogurt out, right? Got some plain yogurt. I've got some onions sliced up already. We'll go with some cool cucumber in this, huh? Right, a little tzatziki. This is ground cumin. You don't wanna be buying pre-ground spices because what do we call those containers? Coffins. They're coffins. As soon as you grind a spice, it releases all of its essential oils and you get a, almost a total loss of flavor. So you buy ground cumin, it's not gonna taste like fresh ground cumin. So you've gotta heat them up. Now, normally you heat your spices in a dish when you're cooking. We're not cooking this, so we had to heat up the cumin ahead of time and then we ground it in a spice grinder, a coffee mill. Make sure you have two coffee mills though. Just trust me on that. We're gonna add a little bit of that cumin in. I'm gonna get the onion in there. All right. Some we got red pepper flakes, right? Red pepper flakes. Always a nice addition. How about some garlic? I'm mincing some garlic here. We got the most common spice that everyone should have in their pantry, black pepper. All right, now we got a little lemon. Let's get some zest in there. I say <laughs> we get us some plates. You almost hate to cut these things, you know? They're so pretty. Oh, but look inside. That's, look at it. Let, we'll... And look at this. It's so tender, you can barely slice it. I mean, goodness. Look at that. Oh, oh I know. We're going to set a little on the plate. When I grab a little pork, we need some crispy bits on there. Make sure you get a couple of those. Right. I think that's going to be perfect right there. And we're going to spoon just a little bit of that sauce over the top. 